Whether you're a seasoned veteran or new to fly fishing, the choices for rods are vast and can be overwhelming if you're going to step through the door. It is a good idea to have a good understanding of the basics before you test the waters. Daniel Uter from Rivers Edge West stocks and sells plenty of rods in about any size or weight. Fly rods come in different weights, uh, anywhere from say a two weight to a 12 weight. The weight of the rod generally refers to the weight of the line you'll be using and the type of fish that you're catching. Higher weights will usually mean stiffer rods. Some people go down to a smaller rod, you can get like a seven foot you know, three weight, which you can see is quite a bit shorter. Um, or you might go to a little bit heavier rod for throwing your streamers in the fall. So matching the rod to the type of fishing you normally do is important. You know, you can almost really cover almost all the fishing in Montana with a five or six weight rod. Technology has changed a lot in the last few years. Your know, rod and reels the last really two to three years have seen a big jump in technology, especially in rods. Uh, you can get a, they've been able to uh, basically manufacture a rod with a lot less you know, resin or glue. And by doing that, they're able to put more, uh, they, they're able to put more graphite into the rod, thus creating much uh, more feel with the rod and quite a bit lighter. Besides graphite rods, there are other options like the classic bamboo rod. That's really a, you know, it's really a, a work of art. So you're going to pay a little bit more for that. Uh, you're going to sacrifice a little bit of maybe durability. They're going to be a little bit heavier, but you know, for some guys, that's still, you know, actually fishing with a bamboo rod is just that's just part of fly fishing. And for kids there are some great lower budget options that are built to last. You can see this, you know, kids rod a little bit shorter. I mean, it's like, you know, they're using that seven and a half to eight foot range. Uh, they've got kind of, you know, fun colors, uh, fun, you know, grip rather, you can see it's sort of a, uh, a, a rubber molded grip that's got some cool colors. Uh, typically the, you know, kids outfits, they're a little bit more durable. <laughs> they can take a little bit more abuse than your standard rod. But according to Uter, the most important thing to do is to try a few rods and get the feel. I think the biggest thing is, you know, really, really, you know, really trying them out. Um, there's a lot of different options, and not every rod is going to work for every person. But, you know, everybody has a unique casting style, and there's, there's, there's probably a rod that's going to fit it. I did ask Daniel what his favorite rod was. Whichever one I caught the last big fish on is using my favorite rod. <laughs> Most fly shops will allow you the chance to try out a few rods before you buy them. So you can walk into just about any fly shop and test them out before you buy. Until next time, keep those lines tight, rods bent, and most of all, have fun. Reporting in the Gallatin Valley, Matt Elwell, MTN News.